Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Winding Road Podcast. Been getting in that deep feeling state lately. I think that's why I, you know, we're in uh, January now as of this recording. No snow yet. No snow yet for the uh, season, but it's just weird because, you know, you can go check out my other shows and, you know, you see my books and everything coming out like, I'm mostly pretty normal at times, but for, for whatever reason, I, whenever I'm going real deep in my thoughts is when I'm like, oh, I gotta get, a, I gotta click on here, and share all these deep, crazy thoughts with the world. And I'm like, and, and it's just like, well, then I'm like, oh no, I'm, but I'm afraid to share. I'm afraid to share those those thoughts with the world. But I know they'll help people, man, and because I know people think about life <clears throat> real deep, and you know, sometimes it feels like everything's you know you go deeper and deeper and deeper and you don't even realize you don't even mean for it to happen but I think you know then that can lead definitely to you feeling a little bit down whenever you like just start thinking about things and you're trying to go to that deeper and deeper level to find meaning and to find purpose and you know it's just like all this is going to be gone someday. I'm going to be gone. Everyone in 110 years from now, we'll say, we'll say 111 since that's my favorite number. Everybody that's living on this earth right now is going to be dead. I mean, these are obvious statements, but they're just things that I think about sometimes. Like everybody. I mean, you know, who knows what, what this world will look like then, but it's really, we can't, we can't worry about it as hard as, as hard as it is not to think about, you know, sometimes, and we do a pretty good job as a society and a species, I think, of uh, just, uh, you know, getting caught. And I don't think it's necessarily good with the things that we use to escape from the realization of our mortality. But we can, we can do things that are good, that help us. But I, think, I do think having that awareness of it, you know, definitely can lead to kicking you in the butt and thinking, man, I got I got all these dreams and goals and I want to get them done now. I think that's whenever I get a little bit down is uh, whenever, you know, I think that I'm like, man, time, the clock's ticking, time's running out and I'm not doing everything I could and I just, I can't, I don't want to get my ass out of bed, man. And that voice just in my head is, ah, just sleep. You're good. You're good. And I love sleeping. And I love getting, and I love being in dream mode, and I feel like I'm in a whole different world whenever I'm in there, especially whenever I'm, like, having memories of the past and stuff like that. I get locked into, and I wake up, though, and then I'm like, that's why I want to go back to sleep, because it's like, I don't know, and and then I start thinking about the past and how I I miss those times, you know? I, I miss all those things that I did you know and I want to go back there and then I realize like man you know and then I think about people that have aged and I see them and I'm like man god I just want to go uh, man I miss all those all those times you know and like I'm trying to figure out I do an okay job I think but like figuring out you know whenever you do have those dreams or just whenever you're thinking about the past and you start missing it how do you just have reverence for the fact that it happened you know how do you just have reverence for the fact that it happened and you had all those good times and you know and and then being thankful for them rather than wishing that they were still around how do how do we figure how do we figure that out i think number one is definitely not by not getting caught up in the past and thinking about it too much but everything, you know, everything goes to the past in like a blink of an eye, you know, and then, and then it's 10 years later and then it's 20 years later. And it's just this weird catch 22 conundrum that we're in, you know, because we want to make all those great memories, but why are we making, why are we making them if we're not ever going to, you know, try to think about them again why why you know then why are we even doing anything now you know 
But that goes back to what I've talked about a lot on the other podcasts of getting lost in the eternal now. And, you know, and, and, and you know, we, I think we do need to have those times of reflection to think back, you know. But if I'm, it's weird, man, if I'm scrolling through my memories and stuff, like, I don't know, if I'm scrolling through stuff that, like disc golf stuff that happened 10 years ago, I am like, or things in nature, outside, whatever I'm doing, or just memories with family. Like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm feeling good about that because. All, you know, if it's people that are still around and everything, I'm feeling good about that because they're still around. I still play disc golf, you know, but if I'm thinking like about like certain times in my life that are no longer around that were good times and I start thinking about, damn, I wish I could just go back there. Like you can't, you got to try not to have that mindset. Sometimes it's hard for me, especially when I like, I, like I said, whenever I dream and I feel like I'm in a whole different world and I dream about the past and then I wake up and I'm just like, damn it, man, those were good times. I want to go back there. But you got to stop. The, you got to stop those uh, thoughts of letting it get you down in a hurry, and just try the best you can to have reverence for them, and to be thankful that they happened, and to be like, okay, okay, okay. How do I? How do I make more moments now? How do I? How do I? You know, it's getting lost in the now, though. To then be like, twenty years from now or whatever. Uh, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, you know, hopefully you'll, you'll then be able to be thinking about those moments and hopefully you'll be able to get to a point, you know, I, I don't know if I ever want to get to that point though, if I'm 70, 80, 90, you know, where I'm thinking about, where I'm just thinking about the past and all these good things I had and then I'm like, ah, sweet, you know, I lived a good life and man, and now I can think about all these things with reverence, like, it's weird thinking about whether, you know, if I'm going to be an old man just sitting around can't hardly move am I just going to be getting sucked into watching tv or maybe even reading hopefully you know and then just getting lost in that stuff or am I going to be sitting around and am I going to be looking am I going to be watching my old youtube videos you know just day after day and thinking about those moments and actually being thankful for them or am I not going to be able to do that because I wish that I was 20 years old again or 30 years old again and it's just, this is a weird thing, man. This aging thing, this life thing is just a weird fucking deal that we're doing. It's fucking really strange, man. Cause it's like, cause we create all, every single day with all these different things. Like, so like all of our thoughts and things we do and the people we run into, you know, like we forget about way, way, way more than we remember, I feel like. And it's just so weird that we do all these things, but then we don't, you know, then we don't remember them, you know, like, man, there's so many things that I know that I did. It's just like, I don't, I don't remember them. If people, you know, then it's like, if people tell me something, I'm like, yeah, man, you remember when you did that? No, bro, I don't remember that. And you're like trying to jog your brain and you're like, man, then you start like thinking about it, whether, yeah, is is that exactly how it happened, you know, or then you like start create your brain can create memories like false memories and that shit is just so bizarre so freaking strange man so weird and the only way that i can combat all of that is by focusing on the tasks and letting the chips fall where they may uh, yeah that's just that's what you have to do is just keep focusing on here and now and you know and then thinking about like you know, there's no guarantee. I have, I really do have faith that, you know, this cosmos thing and that we're all going to, something's going to happen whenever we leave our bodies for sure. Um, I do believe in that, but there's no guarantee of that. And that's weird. So if there's no guarantee of that, it's like, man, what, what are, does this, does anything mean anything? And you just have to believe, you just have to have that mindset that it does otherwise there's otherwise then you're the now doesn't mean shit like if you believe you know in all those different things that something's going to happen that everything we do right now has meaning has purpose karma all that stuff you know the the soul's journey i like to talk about and want to and i want to write a book about that someday like the soul's journey uh, and you know like even though there's no guarantee of any of that man how we make now have meaning and have purpose is by focusing on the task of spreading that positive energy and spreading that love which i believe is god in us 
and spreading as much of that as we can and just having the faith, having the faith that that is going to mean something, that it, that it, that it is going to mean something later, and it does mean something now. And that's the only way you can get out of your certain things. You know, if you don't feel like doing a damn thing and you do feel like nothing means anything, well, you getting off the couch, you getting, you know, just doing something, man, just doing something. Even if you're like, I don't want to go for a walk. It doesn't mean anything. Nothing means anything. But just but just the act of doing something does mean something. It means you're taking a step towards getting out of the horrible state that you might be in. So if you're doing that, that means something at that specific moment in time. And then that can, those little things, man, that little spark, a little spark can lead to bigger, bigger things, you know, and the next thing you know, you're out of that, you're out of that feeling of, of nothing means anything. And you're in a, you're in a different space, space of shit. Every little thing that I do means something. Every little thing that I do all these, any little thing I might say to somebody might be the thing that sparks them to, to lead a better life. Like that's definitely possible guys, for sure, for sure. That positive begots positive, you know, like I woke up this morning and I'm just like, ugh. like I just start, started having those feelings of being down and I was like, nope, nope. Nope, a, and, and it was just it's so familiar. This is so such a familiar feeling, you know. And I could have latched onto that, and I could have let it affect today. I could have let it affect tomorrow. I could have let it affect. It could have trickled, but because I've been able to put the positive things in me, because I was able to take those first steps, you know, just all right. Nope, got to get out of bed. Got to go work out. Because I know it's going to mean, I know how, I, how I'm going to feel after I get done working out. I know how I'm going to feel after I get done going out and taking a hike in nature or playing disc golf or going to playing a game, whatever it is, man. I know how I'm going to feel after that. I'm going to feel great. So if I know that I'm going to feel great in the future, even though I might feel down right now and I don't feel like any of that means anything, I know it will later. So boom click brain click new the, those new neural pathways that i've created by doing all those different things those start to click and they start to erase that negative that tries to latch onto you in that moment it can be erased by seeing your future being able to see the future from the now because you know what the effects are that will happen if we're putting all these healthy things in us, guys. And I'll tell you right now, I slipped up. I slipped up one time and it wasn't even really that bad. You know, I've not been drinking for almost two years now, but I figured out that I have this gluten allergy, okay? Possibly. I, I don't know if I've told this story on here before, but figured out that I might possibly have this gluten allergy. And so, you know, very social. I was always like a social smoker, social drinker, you know, things like that. And so I had stopped drinking, but you know, I was, I got to a point where I'm like, all right, I, you know, I'm going to go to the bar, play some pool, play some shuffleboard, play some darts, and I'm going to drink NA beer. Well, what happens whenever you figure out you have a gluten allergy? Then I can't, I was unable to drink that NA beer anymore. So I was like, all right, well, you know, all right, I feel like I'm good. You know, I really evaluated it. All right, you know, I can have a couple gluten-free ciders, you know, while I'm out and I'll drink them. I'll drink them real slow and it'll be fine. It'll be good. And it was. I did that like three or four times. And then the other night, you know, I had two. I had two and I was doing good. I think the alcohol content might have just been a little high, so I, I think maybe I was starting to feel just a little bit buzzed, and I had not been that way in almost two years. And I don't want to be that way, because then you just start to chase that dragon, man, of chasing that high of being drunk, and it does, it numbs it, man, and I was feeling like numb, and I was feeling, I was feeling kind of happy, I, I, you know, I was feeling a little bit numb, but then I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm going to sit here. I got home, and I'm like, you know, I'm going to sit here. <clears throat> I'm going to sit here and have another drink because I have one uh, few left over from where I have been drinking just two and two and two. I had a couple left over and I had that third drink, man. 
And next thing you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I, I had a buzz on and it was not good. It was good. I was feeling happy. But then, then what happens the next day, man? I wake up and I got a freaking headache. I got a headache and I'm not in a good spot. I got a headache and I'm like, oh boy, you know, now I'm like back to the, why one of the reasons I quit drinking in the first place is because I wasn't getting anything done creativity wise because I wouldn't do anything because I was hung over. And then the second day is a mental, hang, physical and then a mental hangover, you know, at, at my age, you know, you don't do one day hangovers anymore. You do two day hangovers. I'm like, so yeah. So then I'm like, yes, I got a headache and then I noticed my actions with the people I'm around. I got a headache and I'm like, all right cool now I'm like lashing out in in anger at people like not good and that's off of three drinks just by slipping up just because I used the not not doing gluten thing I used that as an excuse you know to potentially fall into that trap of drinking again and then this and no no you know no I'm not I'm not gonna do that so and I realized that, and thankfully I was able, thank God, thank the more, you know, for putting those thoughts in me, that I was able to overcome that and thinking about, thinking about, yeah, how my, what my actions, just a couple small things, you know, and, and I, I let that anger spread to another person, and then, then they, 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 they lashed out at the, you know, it was like a tag team lashing out at another person for, just ridiculous, man, and I'm just uh, that just that can't happen so you know it's like a little a little tiny slip up but where I was able to I was able to overcome that little tiny slip up and just realize that that's I'm not I, I'm not going back to those places I'm not going back to those places and thankfully I was able to realize that in those negative moments in, in that negative moment and spot you know because i had built up all these good things i was able to realize okay no 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 i i knew that i was making that as an excuse and i'm not going to do that so just one little slip up man but be careful be careful on those slip ups because they can it can the negative has a has a big pull it can have a big pull but hopefully you know you've able, been able to do like i've done and put so many positive things in your life that if that negative tries to grab a hold, you know, that you have the strength to just run, run in the opposite direction. And no matter how far that negative pulls you down, you can get up, you can get back on your feet, and you can run towards the positive, run towards the light, be light seekers, as they say, and just keep spreading that positivity and joy every single day of your life, guys, every single day. All right, I'm gonna go work out now. Didn't let it turn into a two-day hangover, even after three beers, didn't let it. This is day two. And get back on track. No slip ups. No more slip ups. And uh, yeah, just keep just keep doing it. And I just got to keep doing it, focusing on my tasks that I'm trying to do. You know, and hopefully I'll be able to overcome that and, and getting my ass out of bed and uh, not getting caught up in the past in those past moments whenever I dream and not thinking about how you know how I want to go back there because I know that we're here where I am right now. I need to focus on that and I know that I can do so many great things and I am doing so many great things and I'll continue to do those great things until greatness is achieved and I'll never stop. I will never stop going towards that light of positivity because I believe that everything does have meaning, does have purpose. My life has purpose and so does yours. I'm me, you're you, but we are each other. Remember that, guys, we are each other. You could have been born somebody else. They could have been born you. Never judge anybody for nothing, man, for nothing. Love, inspire, unite. God bless.